What's up guys, it's your boy Justin, and today I'm going to be making a tutorial for professional hackers only on how to create a legit AA. Um, this is an actual tutorial on how to create a legit AA, so I'm going to assume that you're not going to be running this in your RageBot or your Anteams. We're going to actually write the feature, um, and we're not going to use it backwards. It's very important. So first, we're going to make a function called legit AA, which is going to accept C user CMD, let's call it CMD. And also, um, B send packet. And, um, let's go ahead and put this in here. And, uh, now we'll write the feature. Um, if they don't have it enabled, you're not gonna do anything. It's pretty, uh, pretty logical stuff here. <clears throat> now let's get our local player. So depending on the base you're using, this could be pretty different. Um, it's some, um, it's going to be C base player. Um, in this, it's going to be I client entity. We're just going to call it P local, and it's going to be equal to hack manager dot P local. Um, and like I said, if you're using the base, um, which it would be C base entity, it's going to be something like this globals local player um, but in uh, aware type bases like departed for example which was the base used on this hack um, it's just going to be hack marriage by p local so next up we're going to make sure that we have our local player so if not we'll just return if we're dead we're also going to return and Another scenario in which you would not want to run an anti-aim is if you're, um, basically, if you're in use flag and attack flag, or if you're on a ladder. Um, so basically, if you're shooting people, if you're, like, opening a door, you know, e-spam, that's why. Or if you're on a ladder, you wouldn't want to actually do anything to your, um, to your angles. So we're going to go ahead and check that. So we're going to use CMD, buttons, and in use or cmd buttons um in attack or uh p local get move type is equal to move type underscore ladder okay good so if any of those cases are true we're just not going to do anything um because if you're on a ladder and you use an anti-aim it's going to fuck you up um if you are shooting and you are an anti-aim then some of the shots might get fired while your view angles are changed. So, like, basically, if you did this, some of your bullets might actually get fired sideways. Um, and now we're going to get the weapon we have because we need to make sure it's not a grenade. Um, obviously, throwing a grenade while an anti aim is on is a bad idea. There are other ways to do this other than disabling your anti aim when you have a grenade out, but we're just going to do that because it's easier. So, the way that we get our... Um, our weapon is going to be this function, this returns a handle. Okay, so we're just going to say handle. Um, and then we're going to get the actual entity. So, I client entity web is going to be equal to interfaces and list get entity from handle h web. Um, and then we're also going to want to get the actual number representing our weapon. So if we don't get that, we we'll turn. Otherwise, we're going to set in web ID to um, this. Get the class ID of the weapon, and then we'll just make sure it's not equal to the class ID of any of the grenades uh, before we run it. So if web id is equal to we have an enumerator for the actual class ids we're going to cast that to um an integer and then we'll have all the grenades so there is a decoy grenade um there is a flashbang There's a smoke grenade.
There's an HE grenade. And then there's what? Incendiary and Maltov. So I think that's all the grenades. So if basically if the weapon is a grenade, we're just gonna return. Um, so otherwise, we can actually start to modify our angles because um, we know that we should be running an anti-aim. So first, we're just gonna have a static bool called real. It's gonna be false, um, and then we are going to get our angles. So I'll just call this angle, and it will be CMD view angles. Um, and now we know that if real is true, we're not sending packet. We do not want to send packet when real is true. Now, I'm not going to lie, this isn't a replica of how Pangewars Legit AA works. Um, the real and Pangewars Legit AA is similar to Skeets, I believe, where it actually calculates a, the best real angle possible using like a variation of freestanding, but for your Legit AA. Um, but for, for the case of this being public code, I'm just going to subtract um, 90 degrees. Um, no, don't use backwards. Um, a good a good friend of mine made a, a tutorial on how to, how to do this, and he used backwards. Um, if you use backwards, then you're not changing pitch, obviously, right? It's legit AA. You're not going to actually uh, modify pitch at all because you can't fake that. Um, so if somebody shoots you while they're looking at you and you're looking at them, um, if your head is facing them, basically, it's still going to hit your head. Because you're literally just, you, your yaw is backwards, but your pitch is the same. So it still lines up. Like, your, your real and your fake are going to line up perfectly as long as you're facing the same direction as the person that's shooting you. So it's better to use minus equals 90 or plus equals 90, you know, something that's sideways. Um, and then you're just going to change B send packet. So we're going to set it to the opposite of whatever real is. Um, and the reason that we're doing that is because we don't want, um, we want B-Send Packet to be true when we're running our fake, right? So it's going to be the opposite of real. Um, and we're also going to want to flip this somewhere. So I'm actually going to flip real right here. Um, and then over here, we're going to apply our changes. So view angle is equals angle. And then you should probably clamp that as well. Okay, so this should actually be the feature. Um, so to just to recap, if they don't have it on, we don't do anything. We get our local player, we make sure everything with our local player is all good, we actually have our player, and they're alive. We make sure that we're not in use, or in attack, or in a ladder. We then get the handle for our weapon that we're currently holding, and we get the entity from that handle using the uh, entity list interface. We make sure that we have a weapon, um, and then we get an ID that weapon has, the class ID, so we can check if it's, like, specific weapons. So we check if it's a grenade. These are all the grenades in CSGO. If it's a grenade, we're not going to run the anti. Now, if we get to this point right here, this means that all of the conditions are met. We should actually run our anti. -aim. We have a static boolean called real. By default, it's false. We flip that every time this is actually running. And then we set angle to our view angles. We modify that. We change B send packet to the opposite of real. We set our view angles to whatever we change them to. And then we clamp that. So to call this, we're just going to go to um, the legit bot move. And we're going to call it legit AA with P, CMD, and B send packet. And boom. Now you have a uh, legit A, but like an, an actual legit A that actually works in, in a legit bot, not in a rage bot. If you enjoyed, like the video. Um, if you learned something, feel free to drop a like. And if AWARE is your favorite sheet, also like the video. Have a good day.